The Prime Minister announced the new position on Octedi in Parliament last week. Going to, if the extension of mining life in Octedi is going to be there, I want to assure our people of Western Province and especially our people of Papua New Guinea that this government will make a responsible decision uh, that this mine will now become a uh, property of the people of Papua New Guinea. Uh, we, will, we will develop it ourselves together with the provincial government and the landowners of Western Province. The decision of the Prime Minister has lifted the spirits of the landowners. Sabos Gabman, he told us, and Peter Honey, he told us, Sabos Emily, like this, uh, Octary Mine Bag, Emma Sinabim, Emma Walking Me, Black Papa Ground, must sit on good. No God, mine by close. In a news conference in Port Moresby recently, Landowners of Octedi said they have missed out on their rights to monetary benefits during the life of the mine. They have taken legal action against the mine. While the courts have been giving decisions in their favor, the mine and other stakeholders have not been paying them their benefits. This is because only one individual has been benefiting from the mine, Bill Kirokim, since 1984 to 2006. Kirokim has been maintaining he is the one who signed the MOA in 1991 with Octedi. But then me like to, no entity wrong group. In an effort to come to a resolution, Kirokim was invited to a meeting last Friday, but he did not turn up. It was then that the group voted new executives, Chief Kabomia Alolim was elected as chairman. Alice Thomas, National MTV News.